everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, I have another Ameritron AL811H here. Customer said it was blowing fuses. I had them hold on to the old tubes. They were 811s. I had them order new 572B tubes. So they're on their way from Penta. Awesome company, Penta Labs. Can't say enough good stuff about them. Customer, their, their customer service, their products, just awesome. So, gave it a quick look over. The grids are not grounded. I'm going to go ahead and ground them. I'll remove the grid, ro lo grid loading resistors. Directly ground the grid. E each tube has one grid, one connection, one pin. You know, per socket, and I'll, I'll connect them directly to ground, like you've seen in other videos that I've made. I'll put in the gas discharge tubes, one per side of the filament to ground. The material between the parasitic board and the inno caps is badly frayed, so I will repair that. He did tape the inno caps up under the board, but the damage was already done in the past at some point. So the sample was made in 2005, so you know who knows, but. I noticed that the SO239 connector on the output side slips right in and out. There's really not much tension at all, so not like the input one. So I'll replace that. It's very critical never to put an, put an amplifier into an open, whether it's solid state or tube. I'll check the meter protection diode and replace it if, if necessary. Most likely it's shorted, so... Uh, he had his call sign in here, right here, and right there, so I covered it up for his privacy. But I'll check everything else out, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Took the assembly out, grounded each grid connection. There's one grid connection per tube socket. One of the socket tabs was damaged. Only about, I'd say, a quarter or so of the tab was actually making connection. It was, like, torn on the socket. So, basically, this material right here was fractured. So, took the whole socket out, put a new socket in, added the two gish, uh, gas discharge tubes, one here, one here, on each side of the filament. All four are in parallel, so all you need is two. I don't know why they designed the tubes like this. Uh, Four pins. Two pins are for the filament, one for the grid for each tube, but one pin does nothing. So it would have been a better idea to have two of them connect to the grid, but one pin is a dummy pin, does nothing. So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it, and I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back with the completed amplifier, the Maritron AL811H. So Took the assembly out, grounded the grids the proper way, resecured the output safety choke to a new connection strip, did the bias modification, replaced the SO239 connectors on the back here with high quality ones. Once again, I have his personal info covered up here. Sample was made in 2005. Ended up replacing those straps. Got rid of the ones that were frayed. Cleaned off the numbers on the top of the anode caps. Replaced the meter protection diode. Cleaned the input and output rotary switches with deoxy gold. Touch up, touched up on some solder joints. Replaced the fuses with 12 amp fuses since it's wired for 120. Once again, Pentalab 572B tubes, awesome, love them, great company, awesome customer service, so this thing is good to go. 800 watt PEP amplifier, a lot of people you know, run them less than that, but always tune them up to 800 watts PEP, and then you can back it down by turning down the, the RF uh, output on the transceiver, so... Thanks for watching. My website is ampreparguy.com, 
4119. Once again, 203-892-4119. Take care.